What is going on all of you hedgehog fanatics out there in the world? I am a game, so thank you for checking out this top five list here. Whether you are a new or returning viewer, appreciate you being here. Thanks for stopping by. And of course, this is a big one for my channel. If you know me, Sonic, favorite video game franchise of all time, right? Absolutely love the little blue dude and his friends. And it's finally time I'm here to rank my top five favorite Sonic games of all time. Not just classic, not just modern. We're grouping them all together. Uh, before we get started, I do want to shout out Brain Dead Entertainment for this footage you're seeing here, as well as Long Play Archives and World of Long Plays for all the footage you're going to see here in terms of the gameplay shown. Uh, before we get into the actual list itself, let's start with the honorable mentions. I mean, first up, Sonic Shuffle, as you're seeing here. You all know, if you've watched my channel before, I love party games, Mario Party, Crash Bash, some of my favorite games of all time, Shrek Super Party, some of my favorite games of all time. I just, I've never played Sonic Shuffle, and I'm sure I would love it. I mean, just looking at the gameplay, the mini games look so unique and so interesting and totally balanced. The card system seems so different from everything else that makes it stand out. It just, it's so polished too. Like you can just tell looking at this gameplay how polished this game is. So I would love it. It's probably expensive, so we'll, maybe I'll get a copy one day, but I'm sure I would love it if I've played it, but I have not. Um, another game in a similar vein is Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, the Wii U one. I've played the 3DS games and those are, eh, they're okay. But I mean, Rise of Lyric, first of all, I wanna shout out the Sonic Boom designs. Best designs for the Sonic, the main Sonic cast we've ever seen in the Sonic franchise. And TV show wasn't as good, but like I've heard such great things about the Wii U game. It looks so inspired and so fun to play and like the performance, top notch stuff. So I, I'm sure I would love it if I played it. Still have not yet to got to that though. One day though, one day though. A um, couple other honorable mentions. I want to shout out Sonic Free Riders. Um, phenomenal voice acting across the board. The story is so engaging for a Sonic Riders game. Easily the best Sonic Riders game out of the trilogy. And like the controls on the Kinect are so responsive. It just feels so good to play. And you actually, it feels balanced. Like you're able to actually, you know, it's not, a cakewalk, but it's not super, super difficult either. You're just able to, it's, it's a good difficulty balance. So that's really, really great. Um, soundtrack, really not great, but everything else, fantastic. Last honorable mention I do want to shout out is Sonic Chronicles, the Dark Brotherhood. Such a showpiece for the Nintendo DS, right? Such a great idea to take Sonic and friends into an RPG-like setting. The soundtrack is fantastic. I just, I can't, you know, that's the best thing about that game for sure. I just can't rank it in the top five because of just the soundtrack, but it got close. All of these got close, all these honorable mentions, but that one in particular, the gameplay is so cool. Um, the story I will say is not great. Like they don't really dive much into any of the deeper Sonic lore at all, which I was kind of hoping they would for an RPG. So that's why I didn't quite make the top five, but everything else, fantastic, such, such a good game. All of these are great games, but we are ready to move on to the top five. Definitive, sorry, not definitive, my favorite. Sonic games. So let's get into that with number five here. This is a game, I was a late adopter to the Wii, and this was one of, if not the first game I got for the Wii. I got Sonic Colors, and you know, Sonic Colors was, was decent time, it was decent time, you know, not bad, not bad. This game though, oh, this game defined my early Wii days. And that game at number five, such a great game, is Sonic and the Secret Rings, man. What? A game, let me tell you. The mission structure is not even it's not repetitive at all. There are so many mission types that feel so fresh. The general like locales you explore so diverse and varied. And I mean, why didn't Sega think of this sooner? Why did they not think, hey, let's put Sonic but in the Arabian Nights world? Let's make it like Sonic Cross Aladdin. Like, why not? You know, it's it's so it's just it's so well thought out in terms of just the overall world here. Um, the soundtrack, not as great as well, like some of the other ones I mentioned for the honorable mentions, but like, and like, it's it's so interesting in terms of the, the mission structure, the control scheme, I really wish they had done this with more games on the Wii, where you hold the Wii remote sideways and you like flick it forward to homing attack, you gotta like charge up your little thing. Like, it's such a good workout. It really gets your muscles and arms moving. It just feels so invigorating. It's honestly great, and it's so responsive too. You know, I would say even more responsive than Sonic 3 Ride as well. Maybe, but like it's, it's, you know, it's still, it feels so good. And like, listen, hashtag spoiler. Oh, well, I won't spoil the end ending moment, but like that ending moment after you beat the final boss and that whole segment, like that, that scene made me tear up. If you know, you know, there were a lot of handkerchiefs happening. I was crying I was bawling and it, it was such a good Sonic plot, like so deep and moving. And that's why I got to put it here at number five. Still not like the cream of the crop, but it is certainly up there. Like I said, I love Sonic. So like top five is always going to be 
really tough to <laughs> rank there, but that is number five on this list. Now, number four, another, another gameplay idea. I wish they thought of this sooner. I don't know how they didn't think of this sooner. I mean, granted, this was a lot earlier. This is a classic game, a lot earlier than Secret Rings, but this should have been like in the first game. Like this should have defined Sonic like immediately out of the gate. And that type of gameplay in the game that I'm referring to at number four, fantastic game, Sonic Labyrinth. Like this game, absolutely fantastic. Think about it. Why would you want Sonic to go fast? Like that's just defeats them. It's so hard to control, right? Instead, right, the whole idea of this game is that Dr. Robotnik gives Sonic rock shoes. Like, how did they not think of this before? It's honestly mind boggling how they didn't do that. Granted, this game came out, what, 95, I wanna say? On the Game Gear, best portable system of all time, honestly, even more powerful than something like the Super Nintendo. Like, look at these graphics, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, and the gameplay, it's just like the level design is so varied. I mean, like every locale is so different. Nothing feels flat in the slightest. And what I, what I love about this game, kind of related to the cold going slow thing is like, you know, you get to like stop and choose where you go. So there's a lot of stop and go. And it's like, it's so strategic in that way where I can pick where I want to go and defeat enemies. You know, the hitboxes are fantastic. I'm going around collecting keys and trying to move on to the bosses and the bosses. I mean, the bosses are super varied. You know, it's not just spinning and rolling into them all the time and bouncing around the walls. Like it's so much more varied. You know, this isn't just pinball. There's more depth here than something like Sonic Spinball, 1000%. So I love this game. It's a really great portable experience and you should all try it out as well. Um, still not quite top of the list for sure, but it's like, it's up there. It is really, really good. So that is number four on this list. Now, number three, number three, I've heard some of y'all really don't like, and I'm honestly confused why, because this game is utterly fantastic. Like. Such cool ideas and great execution and super impressive for the hardware it was on, which was the Game Boy Advance. Some of you may know where I'm going with this, but number three for me on this list is Sonic Battle. Like, talk about a 100% well-executed game. I mean, like, the sprite work is not great. The sprite work kind of sucks. Soundtrack's fantastic. Love the soundtrack. And like, what I love about this game, kind of like Sonic Labyrinth, it's very strategic because the game doesn't tell you where you're supposed to land to hit, right? Because it's this, these 2D sprites on a 3D plane, which is such a genius idea because it makes it so more strategic in terms of where you're trying to place yourself to hit the enemy, right? Like you might mess up sometimes and like miss a few punches and kicks because of the, the difference in the planes there. But like once you really get that and you learn, it just, it feels so good. And like the different fights in the story mode, story mode's so interesting. Like none of the stories repeat themselves in the slightest. And there's so many characters to choose from that it just, it makes the game so long and enjoyable in that regard. And like the battles all feel so unique, you know? Cause you're not just, you know, you're only limiting yourself to a certain number of moves, which is great because then it adds to more strategy. Sorry, the hat's falling off here. I'm just done with it. You know, it's just, it's great. It's fantastic. So I love that about the game. The dialogue is so well written and thought out of. It's like, I wish they would make this, a remake this game into a more grandiose game. I will say the reason why it's not the top top of the list is because Emerald, not a really cool idea. I mean, like Emerald's a character kind of sucks and they don't really do anything cool with Emerald in this game. But like everything else, the point and click map exploration, genius move, genius move for this game. And like I said, super impressive for the Game Boy Advance. Like it's just revolutionary gameplay that honestly, I think every Sonic game should play like this going forward, like fantastic. You know, like I will say the general, general's not that interesting, but like everything else just I love to see, you know, it's great. I will say they also shouldn't have included any like the extra characters like Chaos and that was weird. Like what Chaos is done, like keep him out of the game. That was weird. He wasn't cool at all, but like everything else just so good. Top notch, top notch game. So that is why it is number three on this list. We're getting to top two already. Ooh, I'm sweating. These games are so good. Number two. I'm sure some of you who watch this channel know I love racing games. Racing games are so fun, whether it's the realistic simulator ones or the arcade games. Love them to death. One of my favorite genres in terms of video games. And this game was so revolutionary at the time. There was nothing else like it when it released on the Game Gear, no less. Absolutely astronomical, this game. Number two for me is Sonic Drift. Now, um, this is the gameplay for two. Like I said, shout out to Long, uh, to the Long, whatever. One of the one of the Long Archive channels that did this. Um, I'm kind of roping both into one because they're fairly similar. Um, two is a bit of a downgrade from one, which is kind of weird. But like, 
it's it's the same core gameplay at the end of the day. Like, I mean, absolutely beautiful, stunning visuals. What I love about this game is the fact that you can't see what's coming in front of you. It adds another layer of depth. Like, you really have to be... It works for Sonic, because at Sonic, you need fast reactions to really get good. And this game just emphasizes that so well, where it's like, you need to, like, swerve, like, milliseconds before an object comes on screen because the poppins just not great. But they use it so well to the game's advantage. So it's honestly really great. Um, pixel art looks beautiful on a handheld, especially, you know? And it's just, like, the turning is so smooth. Like, I wish they would either do a remake of this game or like make a third one i don't know you know what i mean like i said that the sequel was a bit of a downgrade you know they added more unnecessary characters which is never fun so like i, I i'm a little hesitant about that but like it, come on it's like this game it plays it looks amazing i really think they should bring this back you know what they did to the card adventure 2 yeah i mean they implemented some stuff there but it could have been done better but like you know this team sonic racing all the sonic all-stars racing games do not even compare to Sonic Drift, just how amazing and not a cash grab this game is. It's absolutely phenomenal. And like bringing back like familiar areas, like fantastic. So with that, Horizon, get out of here. That is number two on the list. Now, this is it. This is the cream of the crop. Number one, I have talked about this game on this channel before. So some of you who have watched my channel in recent times, especially, may know what this game is. This is my favorite game of all time. I love this game. Such a revolutionary game. Kind of doing something similar if you were around during, like, I mean, I wasn't, but, like, I'm sure it was similar with that era of the Super Nintendo when Donkey Kong Country first released on there and had, like, those, you know, the, the, the graphical style is very similar. But imagine that, but on a handheld. This was mind-blowing at the time. And that at number one, we got to go into it. Sonic Blast. What a phenomenal game. It's like you take that visual style and you from like something like Donkey Kong Country, like those pre-rendered graphics and apply it on a handheld. Genius. Absolutely genius. Because look at how beautiful this game is. Look at this pixel art. It is absolutely fantastic. You know what I love about this game? First of all, the level design is so varied. It's like every world feels totally unique. And what I love about this game, it's such an original idea, is they base all of the zone names off of colors. Like, how did they not? They thought of this before Sonic Colors. Like, you know, you've got Green Hill. Everybody loves Green Hill Returning. I love it in this game as well. It's the, like, one of the best iterations of Green Hill, no doubt. Um, Yellow Desert, Red Volcano. Can't remember the other ones. Blue Ocean, I think it was. Like, such clever zone names. Absolutely love that. Special stages are so unique. Um, you know, just like, I, I wish they kind of brought that side. They did a little bit for Sonic Advance 3 in a way. Wasn't quite the same, but like they, sh they should totally bring that back, that style of special stage for sure. Like, look at how cool this perspective is. It looks so good in motion. The music, don't even get me started on the music. The music for this game, I hope you're listening to it right now, is phenomenal. This is one of the best Sonic soundtracks of all time. No doubt about that. And just the bosses are so unique and interesting. I gotta say, I'm trying to skip through. Okay, here's the one. Like... The black background makes it so ominous, you know, not having anything in the background makes it so ominous and interesting. And it's so, the boss fights are, because they're so easy, it's like, it makes it more interesting and like, you know, gives you a sense of almost comfort. Because then the final boss is really hard, which is like, oh, like you have to pivot. Like that's how you show your skill. That's how you know you don't have a skill issue with this game because it's just like the difficulty balancing. It's just like, you don't expect it, but it's like, keeps you on your toes, you know? So, and like, oh, look at the lava effects there, man. Those are fantastic. I love this game. This game is so fun to play. What I love, another thing I love about this game, it's so floaty. So it means I can correct my jumps so much more easily. It feels so good. You know, something with like the Genesis games for Sonic, it's like the physics, they don't feel right because they're not floaty enough. In this game, Sonic's jump is so high and the, the screen is so crunched in on Sonic so that you're constantly, you know, focusing on Sonic, who is the main kid. You should be focusing on Sonic, you know? You don't want to see the enemies that are in front of you. You want to be kept on your toes. You want to focus on Sonic or Knuckles. You can play as Knuckles in this game. He's also fantastic. His glide is not slow in the slightest. It's so good. I love this game. Mainly the visual style just looks fantastic. The music's fantastic. I, I adore this game. Everybody should play Sonic Blast, but with that, that is going to do it for this top five. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these games. Like, if they're not your favorites, they should be your favorites. Let me know what your favorites are in the com- Okay, I can't do it anymore, guys. 
<laughs> you know how hard it was to keep a straight face during this video? Yes, April Fools, check the upload date. Oh my god, I can't believe I said that many good things about Sonic Blast. Well, good. In hindsight, maybe I should have put Sonic Free Riders in the top five too, but I really don't like Secret Rings. Anyways, yes, this was a whole fake. These are not my top five games. Sorry to disappoint you, Sonic Battle fans. <laughs> Let me know your actual thoughts on these games in the comments below. If you do enjoy, like, I mean, I'm sure some of you will say Secret Rings or Sonic Battle or you really enjoy. I mean, let me know why. Like, I, I want to hear. I want to hear. Um, my actual favorites, Mania, Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic 3 Knuckles. Those are the top three. I don't know what top five are. That's, that's all you're going to get. Unleash is up there. Frontiers is up there. Um, yeah, something along those lines. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will, I'm will. i not April Fool's in about the support. I always appreciate it. And uh, if you're interested in more content like this, maybe not April Fool's content. That'll be once a year. But feel free to check out other stuff on the channel. Otherwise, I will catch you all on the next video or live stream. Have a good April Fool's. Don't let people fool you. I hope I didn't fool you. Well, I hope I did at first. Take care.